Today's hair growth recipe is one of a kind. You might think you've seen it all, but the end results of today's recipe is going to blow your mind. In today's video, I'm going to show you an amazing hair growth treatment that will not only double your hair growth, but also prevent hair breakages. When chemicals damaged my hair and I lost my edges and my hair was thinning out, natural ingredients and recipes like these have helped me grow my hair back fuller thicker and more beautiful and i'm not greedy so i spill all the tea to the tea on this channel and today is one of those amazing videos so if you really want to learn how to use this recipe to grow your hair and prevent hair breakages which leads to balding and hair thinning then make sure you're not skipping any part of this video let's do this hello beautiful people welcome back and if you're new here i say hey you <laughs> you are so welcome i am super excited to have you join us today let me tell you some rules around this channel we show a lot of love here and we do that by giving videos thumbs up and also we love to have new ones to join us so if you are new here do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time i upload diys for hair growth like these you'll be notified so now that you know all the rules around here <laughs> let's go into the recipe so one of our main ingredients today is rice everybody knows about rice okay you can use any white rice of your choice but today i use the jasmine rice and i'm using about half a cup of this rice rice has so many benefits for a natural hair growth and i'm going to tell you all about that but before that i'm going to have my rice in a bowl like so and i'm going to rinse it because i don't want any bacteria or anything bad getting into this recipe so we make sure our rice is very clean before even starting so just use any amount of water use your fingers to massage it and this will also get rid of some of the starch in the rice okay so my rice is all washed and now i'm going to put it in a saucepan and put it on the stove to boil rice is loaded with antioxidants vitamins as well as amino acids and all these are great for natural hair and promote hair growth it also makes your hair really smooth makes detangling much easier in return helps to prevent hair breakages so i'm going to add about two cups of water to my rice my next ingredient is aloe vera aloe vera is really great for natural hair if you are growing natural hair and you do not know about aloe vera girl <laughs> you're missing out on something good aloe vera is loaded with amino acids vitamins as well as fatty acids all these together will provide some strength to your hair strength to prevent hair breakages aloe vera has a lot of sleep that helps detangling your hair much easier in return it helps prevent hair breakages hair thinning and any kind of hair loss so i just cut my aloe vera slice so and i'm going to put it in a bowl of water to wash it and also to get rid of that yellowish substance called the aloe latex which can sometimes cause some itchiness to your skin so it's always a good idea to soak your aloe vera leaves before using them well i'm here to check on my rice <laughs> and i love how it's looking i had to add about half a cup of water to make sure my rice is really boiled to a soft texture so always you know every rice is different so know your rice and make sure you are boiling it to be really soft and this is what i like so i'm going to put it aside and allow it to cool down my aloe vera is also ready and i'm yet to remove all those yummy juicy gel <laughs> <laughs> and y'all know how we do it here show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up right now <laughs> and if you're new here do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time i upload diys for hair growth like these you'll be notified on this channel i do a lot of diys using natural ingredients that can help boost your hair growth and also prevent hair breakages thinning and any hair problems that you might be facing so make sure to subscribe and when you click on the bell do not forget to select all so you do not miss any of my videos so you see how soft my rice is and kind of mushed together this is what you need because if you do not make it really soft you're gonna have rice particles in your hair i had too much rice so i was going to use part of it and i did use about five to six spoons and my next ingredient is my flaxseed powder you can also use the flax seeds and boil them if you do have those. I have a lot of videos on this channel showing the best way to use flax seed, so make sure to stop by to check on them. Flax seeds contain omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin E, as well as some protein. All these together will strengthen your hair strength and also treat your scalp. It's going to help you grow much healthier hair and prevent hair breakages. My next ingredient is coconut milk. 
Coconut milk contains fats, proteins, and potassium that are great for our natural hair. It nourishes your scalp and improves blood circulation in the scalp, which in return promotes healthy hair growth. You all know new hair always grows from the scalp. So anything that treats your scalp is something that you really need to pay attention to. It also treats scalp issues like dandruff, dry itchy scalp, and many more. So if you haven't been incorporating coconut oil in your hair care regimen, this is the time to start because I've told you all the goodies about it. And it's time to add my aloe vera gel. I added about half a cup of my aloe vera gel and I'm going to put everything in a blender, add some water to it and blend it away like no one's business. So this is what I'm having now after blending it. And you make sure you strain it with a cheesecloth, a wake up or something with tiny holes because you do not want any rice or any residue in your hair guys <laughs> straining it is really really important i don't want you to spend the rest of the year trying to get rice out of your hair <laughs> so make sure you do a good job when it comes to the straining and that is why it's very important you boil your rice to a very very soft consistency before even trying to blend it and do not forget to add some water as you blend and this is what we have in all right so our next ingredient we're going to add is our coconut oil Coconut oil is great for our natural hair. It can treat scalp issues like dandruff, dry itchy scalp, and also add some shine to your hair. I added about a quarter cup of coconut oil to my recipe, and I'm going to give it a good stir. The next thing that I'm going to add is my honey. Honey is really great, especially if you have low porosity hair. It's easily penetrated into your hair shell, and it really conditions and moisturizes your hair. Adding honey to your hair care regimen Will prevent hair breakages and improve the overall strength of your hair strands so you see all the ingredients we put together have similar properties and also will boost your hair growth so after adding everything together like so we're going to give it a good stir and make sure they are all mixed in and i'm going to show you the best way to use this to promote your hair growth okay so this is my treatment and look at that look at that yummy treatment <laughs> just looking at this you will know it's really going to work on your hair because the slip to it oh my goodness it just applies smoothly on your hair and i just even know the words to use you need to give this a try because just your first try you're going to fall in love with this treatment and you might want to do it every week but i recommend doing it at least once every two weeks so when you apply this treatment on your hair it's going to help you detangle your hair with ease so you start with the ends gently massage your scalp because massaging your scalp can also improve blood circulation in your scalp and promote new hair growth just look at that come a little closer come come a little closer just look at that <laughs> my hair is really soft it's easy to manage the shine to it girl just try this one time and you will fall in love with it and make sure whenever you're using this you're working in sections and after every section put it in a twist to return the moisture and hey beautiful people if you're still watching this video to this point it means you're really enjoying it because i really enjoyed filming it show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up and if you're new here do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time i upload diys for hair growth like these you will be notified and when you click on the bell do not forget to select all that way each time i upload any video youtube will notify you all right so you work in sections you use your hands to detangle your hair do not go in with your comb always detangle your hair with your hands first separate them massage your scalp and after that you put that section in a twist you all know balding hair thinning hair loss anything that concerns the hair starts with hair breakages so anything that will help you prevent your hair from breaking is something you need to take seriously Whenever you apply treatments, concentrate on the ends of your hair because they are the oldest part of our hair and they are really tender and they need to be pampered. So each time you do any treatment, make sure you are applying it on your edges, on your ends, on your roots, every part of the hair to get the maximum benefits of every treatment. This used to be my edges and when my hair was thinning and now look at my edges. Thanks to all natural ingredients, my hair is really growing. But remember, you also need a very good hair care routine. So after applying the treatment like this, make sure to go on with a rubber cap or a shower cap to return in the heat. 
Leave it in for about 30 minutes. Then after that, rinse it out with water. Do not forget to moisturize your hair and put it in a protective hairstyle. Thank you so much for watching this video. Click on the video you see on your screen right now to watch it. See you at my next one. Bye.